What up, rock stars? This is Alex Bourne coming at you from the Midwest. Today I am going over the Green Day album. We're on track seven, and the intro begins with an E chord. Now you want to count when you're playing this. You want to play it, let it ring. Go two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then on that four, you're gonna play a G chord. Or just that bass note, if uh, you want to simplify it, and then go back to the E chord. And then, after that second E chord, it's going to go into the bigger, uh, more exciting intro. And, uh... What I'm doing there is, this is basically an A chord and an E chord, and I'm using single notes to lead into each chord. So I'm playing on the fifth string, the fourth fret, and then the second fret. Once I get down there, I hit the chord, and then I do the same thing on the E string. That's the intro. For the chorus, you're going to need to start on an A power chord. You go up to the E chord after two bars. Two bars there. And you go back and forth four times. Then after that... get that part and that starts on the G chord, walks down a fret, down to the E chord, back up, do that two times, and then it's time for the pre-chorus. We are going to do the pre-chorus and the chorus uh, together in the same section because the chorus is pretty much the same as something we did in the intro. So, um, in the pre-chorus, we begin with the D chord. For four bars. And then we alternate between the A, D, A chords times two. And then we go back to the D chord. Four bars. And go to the E chord. And after that, the chorus starts, and that is the same as the part that we did in the intro that went like. That part is the same, but we're going to add a pentatonic lick to that part. And really, the only notes that you need to know for the lick are the third string, fourth fret, and the third string, second fret. So you're going to Bend the 4th fret first, so I bend, I, I bent it twice, and then I bend release, and then the 2nd fret, and then the normal 4th fret. And do that two times, and that is the chorus. This solo is, I, I like this solo, it's uh, its a little bit crazy, but it's also very uh, well thought out, um, and most of his solos are like that. It uh, starts off right down here on the third string, uh, fourth fret. <laughs> okay, and what I'm doing there is I'm bending that fourth fret. Second fret, fourth fret, down the first fret, and then the second phrase. Basically, um, the same kind of thing, and it ends way up high on the first and the second strings at the twelfth fret. That's where I play it at least. And then uh, you're gonna go down to 
um, a, a pentatonic scale on uh, on the note A. So the notes we're going to use are basically. Uh, so fourth string, seventh fret, uh, third string, fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, eighth fret, fifth fret, eighth fret. And the way you're going to start it is. Uh, so that's the third string. And then bend the third string, seventh fret. And then those are the two high strings. That's the second string, eighth fret. Bend it and release it. And then I go back and forth between the that note on the third string and the other uh, two high strings. And then you're gonna go a little bit higher up the scale. This is still the pentatonic scale. The notes you're gonna need to know are. 3rd string, ninth fret, 8, 10, 8, 10. And the way we're going to use those notes are... So that's starting on the 2nd string. What I'm doing there is I'm bending the 2nd string 10th fret, holding it, and I'm also playing the 1st string 10th fret. It's called a pedal steel bend like the pedal steel instrument, kind of in it, in imitation of that instrument. And then I'm going to go back and forth between the third and the second string. And then it gets a little bit simpler. We're going to use the technique where we bend a string and hold another one uh, on the same fret. So that's the third and the second string. Then you're going to go down to the 7th and the 5th fret, same strings, and then you're going to slide up to the 3rd string, 13th fret, and the 2nd string, 12th fret, and then I'm moving it 2 frets higher, and then a fret higher than that. Okay, so that's the solo. The outro is stuff that we played before. Um, we're using the pre-chorus. That thing again. And then uh, we use the chorus. Um, and, until the end. And then the last riff is you might want to play with that with power chords it'll sound a little bit thicker that's the end of the song so i know that was a lot of uh stuff to cram into a couple minutes um if you have any suggestions please leave me a comment and um i hope to get back to you as soon as i can um I got a question for you. What is your favorite Green Day song? Do you like their old stuff? Do you like their new stuff? Um, let me know, and uh, maybe I'll do a lesson on it in the future. This is Alex Bourne saying cheers.